Hi, my name is Glenn Hasselman. I'm just making this video for the users of free accounting software to show you guys a new feature called Identity Verification. I should say it's a new feature is at December 2018 in case I don't update this video for a while. So I've just created a new file in the desktop software for this demonstration and one of the features that you'll want to use Identity Verification for is this uh, new messaging feature. So the messages get saved into the file and you can send the file to other users. You can also use this uh, get new messages and this send file uh, button to send the messages. But I'll demo that a bit more in another video. Uh, now, before you verify your identity, any messages you post will uh, be highlighted with this um, it says signature valid but identity not verified. So it's important to, to verify your identity because any user in free accounting software can uh, give themselves whatever name they like. So if you're receiving a message and it says identity not verified, um, well you, you'll have to uh, somehow work out that it comes from the person who uh, they claim to be. So, should point out this this is not just some issue for free accounting software, but this is an issue with any any accounting software. Um, the difference with free accounting software is we've got a solution. So, what I'm going to do is demonstrate that here. So, to verify your identity, go to um, File and click on My FAS Identity. Now, down the bottom here, there is a new uh, button called verify your identity and um, on that page is some instructions that you should follow um, to verify your identity so the first step here is to download and install the Australia Post digital ID app and that's a app that you'd install on your phone or tablet and it's what we're using to um, verify people's identities uh, if you um, well, when you install the app, you should uh, add two forms of ID. So you want a driver's license or passport and Medicare card or something like that. You also need to um, uh, use the app and photograph your face and that will um, be verified by Australia Post. Now if you're using the Android app, you may be able to complete this process entirely online and Australia Post may be able to verify your face against the passport records that they have um, but uh, everyone else or probably be most people will actually have to visit an Australia Post office to uh, present their driver's license and complete that process so you need to do that before um, before you can complete this identity verification so once you've done that, come back here and then, you know, confirm that your uh, name is what is shown on your identity documents, passport or driver's license, and then click Save Details. Okay, once you click Save Details, you get the link here to click on, or the um, um, you can copy paste this link here into your web browser, and then um, from there complete the rest of the identif identity verification process. Okay, so once you've um, clicked on that link you'll be greeted with a page that looks like this and the next step of the identity verification is that there's we're charging a fee for it so you have to pay for it so we, we're actually paying for it so we have to pass on that cost now um, click make payment and the um, so George Bank hosted payment page pops up and once you've completed payment then you can proceed with the identity verification. Once you've paid then um, this page comes up and identity verification. Now you want to um, connect to the app that you've already installed on your phone. So use this option um, 
already have Digital ID Connect. So connecting to your mobile phone is done by typing in your phone number and clicking and it'll actually then ask you would you like to um, allow us to send the, your name and date of birth to free accounting software um, and then that's what allows us to verify your identity. So once you do that um, the web page actually automatically updates and directs you back to the hopefully this page that says verification of your identity is so once it's done you go back to free accounting software and you restart the software and then the um, writing updates from uh, to say signature valid and identity verified so now other users can see that you have uh, verified your identity using the Australia Post Digital ID app and they can trust that um, the um, person who's sending the message or the file um, is who they claim to be.